This is a dangerous and powerful storm. So that's what we're looking at. The radar can see winds that are moving away from it and winds that are moving toward it. And we can see where those, all right, we can go to Chicopee and you can see here uh, in Chicopee, we have just some blue sky and some clouds. Uh, some heavy downpours are happening near the station, so we're very close to where the downpours are, but we can also see the clear air. So um, again, Chicopee is not involved in the tornado warning. Uh, most of Western Massachusetts is north of that tornado warning. You can see again, that's where we're looking at that rotation here. And as the radar sweep updates, we will have um, new information for you. So it's about uh, three to five minutes for the sweep to confer. There we go. And we still have some rotation here just to the south of the Massachusetts state line. So again, now is the time if you live in Longmeadow, Agawam, uh, Springfield. This is a live look looking south from Springfield and you can see some heavy rain right now uh, as we look across the Connecticut River looking south. Uh, heavy rain happening right now in that area. There's already a severe thunderstorm warning in effect uh, for the Springfield area. There is not, uh, at least for most of Springfield, a tornado warning in effect, but that line comes very close to the southern end of Springfield. Agawam, Longmeadow, Southwick, that uh, severe, uh, that tornado warning is in effect for you. We will go back to uh, the radar here and you can see all of this lightning here. So we've got two areas of heavy downpours right now. Uh, one that is just north of the Mass Pike here, uh, moving into uh, Ludlow on its way into Palmer and also into parts of Belchertown. And then we have this area right here, which is where the tornado warning is in effect for right along the Massachusetts state line with Connecticut and you can see the frequent lightning and if we have lightning that typically means that we have ice in the storm and if the storm is strong enough to support a lot of ice in it that means that it's strong enough potentially to support a tornado and we've actually seen that rotation on radar this is all moving to the east at about mm, 25 to 30 miles per hour uh, if you are in Hamden County right now, now is your time to get into a safe place. If you're anywhere east of Route 10 and 202, you need to get inside and get to a safe place because while this storm appears to be moving farther to the south and to the east, uh, you know, we uh, would urge caution, especially along the state line. So uh, Longmeadow, East Longmeadow, Hamden, uh, even parts of Wilbraham, Munson, you definitely want to get to a safe place now. This is your lead time. This is your warning. Again, a tornado warning is in effect for uh, southern Hamden County, uh, south uh, South Central Hamden County and Southwestern Hamden County. You can see that tornado warning inside the red box there until 5.30 this evening. And uh, a lot of lightning right now over uh, the greater Enfield area and uh, parts of Suffield. This is all moving to the east at about uh, 25 to 30 miles per hour. The heaviest of the weather is missing Springfield, but nonetheless, there are some lightning strikes happening in Springfield. And again, uh, I would take this very seriously as we are right now by uh, continuing our coverage, even though it looks like the bulk of this is south of the of the state line. Uh, there cer certainly could be some damaging winds and frequent lightning with this storm, even right along the Massachusetts state line. So again, uh, Southwick, you seem to be out of the worst of this, which is good news. But Agawam and Longmeadow, you are certainly under a tornado warning uh, until 530. And we may see this box expand along the state line here within the next 15 minutes or so. It is 505 now here on 22 News at 5 o'clock. So 25 more minutes to go uh, with this tornado warning uh, for parts of uh, southern Hamden County, including Longmeadow, Southwick, and Agawam, and even uh, extreme southern parts of Springfield may be involved in, uh, in this tornado warning. So uh, best to take caution now. As you can see, the, the core of this storm is moving over the Enfield area, uh, crossing I-91 right now. I'm going to go back to that velocity scan and uh, we'll see where, the, uh, where the, the winds are with this particular storm. I'm not seeing, let's see, but the, nothing new in terms of a confirmation of, of that um, tornado, a visual confirmation. But we'll go back to the velocity scan, and you can see here that uh, we still have, well, that's tough to see, but 
still have a little bit of red on green here right along Route 190. I think I just um, zoomed out, but right in this area here is where there's the potential for some rotation. So rotation for this long on the radar in New England would indicate to us that this is a very powerful storm and that's why the National Weather Service has issued the tornado warning. This storm is moving east at about 25 to 35, 25 to 30 miles per hour. So again, uh, if you live anywhere in southern Hamden County, now is the time to get to a safe place. We expect this storm to move more in this direction and stay south of the state line. But that's not a guarantee. So again, Long Meadow, Agawam, Hamden, uh, you should uh, certainly uh, heed the warnings now and get into a safe place. Still have a little bit of uh, Western Massachusetts involved in this tornado warning. So again, we're watching these, these areas where the greens meet the reds, and that's uh, what is uh, concerning to us. So still some rotation in that storm. We'll go back to the uh, the what we call the reflectivity the rain radar if you would and where is that there we go we'll go back to that and you can see here a ton of lightning to the uh, state line I believe that they just updated this uh, tornado warning all right so the tornado warning at 506 was canceled for Hamden County in Massachusetts which is what I thought as we were looking at this line so you can see the line now is just to the south here of uh, the of uh, in Connecticut. So uh, again, the tornado warning has been canceled for Hamden County, Massachusetts. The National Weather Service has increased confidence that this storm is going to stay south of the state line. However, we still do have the severe thunderstorm warning uh, in effect for parts of Hamden County, including uh, Southwick. Agawam and uh, potentially parts of West Springfield here until uh, 515. So we're still tracking some rotation over north central Connecticut, uh, but the tornado warning for our area for Hamden County, Massachusetts has been canceled, which is great news for Hamden County, Massachusetts. But we're still seeing some rotation here in northern Connecticut, frequent lightning. I'm going to give you a, a slightly wider view here. We're going to take a quick departure from the tornado warning just to show you what's happening elsewhere here uh, in the Pioneer Valley. And there you go. So we've got uh, over uh, eastern Hamden County, we've got heavy rain from Springfield uh, to Ludlow. This is moving into Palmer. You can see a lot of uh, heavy uh, lightning here, frequent lightning uh, over Belchertown, Granby, and Ludlow. And then we've also got uh, some heavy rain over the Ware area. Greenfield and Franklin County, you are in the clear. These uh, showers and storms have moved uh, to your east, which is great news. And then we've got uh, some heavier showers over the Westfield area, but no lightning there. And then obviously um, the heavy lightning associated with that potential tornado now in uh, northern Connecticut. You can see here as we take a live look from downtown Springfield, this uh, camera right here, this is our uh, live camera. It's part of our 22 News Storm Team live camera network uh, from the top of Monarch Place. Visibility has improved a little bit uh, over uh, downtown Springfield. But looking to the south, obviously, it's uh, very ominous there. Let's take a, another quick look at uh, the radar for uh, southern Hamden County. I'm just going to zoom in here and give you an idea of what's happening uh, as we continue our live coverage here. So I'm seeing some hail on the radar over uh, northern Connecticut. You can see there just to the west of Summers, that also would indicate a very powerful storm and all of these ingredients, it, it makes sense there's a tornado warning on this storm. Whenever we see hail, that kind of raises our eyebrows that there's enough um, uh, strength in the storm potentially to create that rotation and potentially create a tornado. No confirmed tornado yet, but frequent lightning right now over northern Connecticut. Again, the tornado warning is for northern Connecticut, not for Hamden County, Massachusetts. That warning has been canceled uh, for Hamden County. It was canceled about four minutes ago, five minutes ago uh, at 5.06 p.m. It's 5.10, 5.11 now. And you can see here that we've got um, heavy rain over Wilbraham and all right, let's, uh, uh, I, I believe we have a, uh, I'm sorry, we have a live reporter in Springfield. Is that what you're saying, Dave? No, there's, uh, oh, Sydney Snow is uh, live right now in Springfield to give us a quick little uh, uh, a narration of what's happening there on the ground in Springfield. Sydney. 
Yeah, Brian, I'm here in Court Square right now in downtown Springfield, and the rain is actually starting to let up right now. But just a few minutes ago, it was actually pretty scary here. I was in the car. The thunder was very loud. There was a lot of lightning. The wind started to pick up, and it did get very, very dark. But like I said, I'm in downtown Springfield right now, and luckily it did kind of move away from us. But the wind is still here, and you can still hear a lot of thunder from wherever it is right now. But it was some pretty scary stuff here. Brian, what's the rest of the weather looking like right now. All right, so it's east of you now. Uh, the heaviest weather is east of downtown Springfield. Uh, you can see here that there's some heavy rain over Wilbraham and the National Weather Service is saying that the rotation in the storm is starting to weaken a little bit. I haven't checked that rotation in about three or four minutes, uh, but still a, str a, a storm to be reckoned with. This is very strong and uh, the heaviest rain now is moving through eastern Hamden County. Again, we had a tornado warning just to uh, just to quickly update you here before we uh, send it over to Ciara to get underway with uh, the rest of the news of the day. Had a tornado warning for South uh, uh, south central Hamden County that was canceled at about 506. There still is a tornado warning for northern Connecticut and we still have uh, heavy showers and thunderstorms moving through eastern Hamden and eastern Hampshire County right now. There it is. You can see it there on the radar. So uh, with that said, as the heaviest weather is uh, moving east of the Connecticut River and the tornado warning has been canceled for Hamden County, we'll take a quick break here in the forecast center and we'll send it over to uh, Ciara for an update on Hurricane Dorian. And of course, we'll be back to update you on the weather as we continue through the evening here on 22 News at 5. Right, Brian, and we will continue our coverage of these severe storms moving across the area. We do have crews heading to very parts right now to tell us what's going on there and continuing with devastating weather Hurricane Dorian has devastated the Bahamas prompting an increase in donations 22 news reporter Taylor Knight has ways you can make sure you're donating to a reputable charity and not scammers Hurricane Dorian pummeled the Bahamas